Now that we know about number lines, let's look at an application of distance, and we call this application the absolute value of a number. The absolute value of a real number A denoted by, and those two vertical bars, we read them as the absolute value of A, is the distance between A and zero on a number line. Now that we have that definition of absolute value, let's insert this symbol, this symbol, or this symbol to form a true statement. I have the absolute value of negative five, and then I have negative four. Now, in order to insert a correct symbol, let's first of all find what is the absolute value of negative five. Well, the absolute value of negative five is negative five's distance from zero on a number line. Negative five lies a distance of five units from zero on a number line, so the absolute value of negative five is five. Now, to help us compare then these two, let's compare five and negative four, since the absolute value of negative five is five. Well, five is greater than negative four. Since five is greater than negative four, the absolute value of negative five is greater than negative four, and we have formed a true statement. Let's try that one more time. Let's suppose we have the absolute value of zero and the absolute value of negative eight. I'd like to insert is less than, is greater than, or is equal to to form a true statement. Well, let's look. What is the absolute value of zero? The absolute value of zero is zero's distance from zero on a number line. Well, zero lies zero units from zero on a number line, so the absolute value of zero is zero. What is the absolute value of negative eight? It's that number's distance from zero on a number line, and that number's distance is eight units. So to compare these two, let's compare these two. How do zero and eight compare? Well, zero is less than eight. Since zero is less than eight, the absolute value of zero is less than the absolute value of negative eight, and we have formed a true statement. At this time, make sure you go through and review those sets of numbers.